guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am actually building a schoolhouse. Well, it's like a high school. I don't know why I just felt inspired to build this kind of build. And sadly, <laughs> I'm going to try to talk about the build as much as I can, but I also have a few things that I need to share with you guys. Um, this video was uh, already put together. I just hadn't done the voiceover for it and I was going to. I was supposed to release it this weekend. But um, I kind of had a major setback and I'm fine, but um, I have a, a full-time job and I am a night manager. So I work from like one in the afternoon till 10, 1030 at night. So I got home on Sunday night when I was supposed to come home and, and do the recording for this. And um, I don't know the exact circumstances of everything that had happened, but my husband was completely blue and unresponsive. And I understand if you guys want to stop listening to this right now, because I know some of you have experienced things like this and it's not a very pleasant subject, but, um, I wanted to just kind of let you guys know what's been going on and why my, uh, builds and things have been so sporadic lately. Cause well, I, you guys know that I've changed jobs and I'm still adjusting to that. I'm also looking for a place of my own. So I am trying to do all adult things at once, but, uh, back to my story. So um, he was actually admitted to the ICU. He had passed out. He has sleep apnea. So I don't know if you guys know what that is, but, uh, sleep apnea is where you fall asleep and sometimes you stop breathing in your sleep. It's a medical condition that affects a lot of people. And I am sure that you are aware that my husband is not exactly a small man. He's actually quite a big man. <laughs> um, and a lot of contributing factors went into that. But what had happened was he fell asleep without, um, it's called a CPAP machine. He has to wear it at night. And what it does is because his airway gets constricted, that's why he stops breathing in his sleep, but it forces air into your lungs and, uh, allows you to sleep. So I rushed to the hospital. I was there just, I, I didn't know what to do. And an ambulance ride is something I hope that none of you ever have to experience in your life, because that is something that is incredibly scary. So, but he is an ICU. Um, he's probably going to be there for a little while. This is the first time that I've been home all week and I needed to shower because let me tell you, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like being in a, ho or not a hotel, <laughs> being in a hospital for four days straight is not something you guys want to do. It's uncomfortable or ugh, that's kind of why I'm sharing my story with you guys now. I just felt like you know, I needed, like my family obviously knows what's going on and, and that, but you know, I, I felt like I needed to just kind of vent. So I'm sorry, you guys, that you're having to listen to this, but you know, I think what I am attempting to tell you guys is that, you know, especially with everything that's going on in this world, life is extremely short. And you guys should never hold back on any of your dreams or aspirations or anything like that, because some days you just never know, you know, something could happen and, you know, you could get to a point where you might never get to experience something like that. Or if you want to go skydiving, like, you know what, do it, just do it. And don't be afraid of people judging you for the things that you want to do because at the end of the day, and I know this is kind of a hard concept to grasp, especially if you're 
younger, but you know, it doesn't really matter what people think. It really doesn't. As long as you were okay with you being you in whatever capacity that is, then you, you do it. You do whatever makes you happy because why not? So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that, um, he should be okay. He's still, you know, in a little, uh, little bit of an in-between. We're still working on some things for him, but as far as I know, he should be okay and going home soon. So, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know and, and, uh, he is okay. So, <laughs> so I'm okay now, but, uh, just needed to, I just needed to relax and I just needed to talk to you guys. And I know it's kind of weird because, you know, I obviously have never met any of you or anything like that, but you know, I feel like I can share, I can share some of my life with you guys and, and, you know, just kind of, kind of give you an insight as to some of the things that you are going to deal with in your life. And a lot of them are going to be good. You know, a lot of them are going to be good, but there are going to be instances where you're going to struggle and that's okay. It is okay to struggle because we all do it. Some people just deal with it differently and you know, don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to do things that, you know, you, your dreams and your possibilities and it's all unlimited. All you have to do is go out and get it and just be you. Just be you. That is the greatest gift that your parents gave you is the ability to be who you want to be. And I know I'm on a soapbox right now, but you know, I just, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And you know, I, I'm going through a rough time right now and you know, there's going to be times when you question, you know, exactly like, you know, like, what am I doing with my life? Like, why, why am I making these decisions? And I'm a firm believer that, how do I want to phrase this? I'm a firm believer that, you know, you make your own choices, but I also feel like if that choice maybe doesn't pan out like you want it to, or, you know, you change your mind, like don't feel bad for that because as humans, we are supposed to grow. And as we're growing, you know, you learn different things, your ideas and your thoughts and different things that you believe in are always going to change. So don't feel bad. And if someone tells you that they feel like you're flip flopping or you're not who you used to be, you can look at them and say, no, I'm not because I'm, I'm growing as a person and you will never stop growing no matter whole, Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, a little tongue tied. I'm still a little tired. So just kind of bear with me guys. Anyway, um, you're never going to stop growing. You're never going to stop developing new tastes, new likes, new dislikes, you know, your opinions change and, and it's, and it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. I, well, at least I believe it's a good thing. I think it's, I think it's good to expand yourself and, and, you know, just, just try just try different things. Even if it scares you, just try. And you know, you might not succeed. You might actually fail. And you know what? That's okay. Because that is a learning opportunity for you. It really is. And you would be surprised all the things that you actually apply of like outside of like maybe school or church or anything like or it could just be something stupid that someone tells you, like a random fact. And at some point in your life, you're going to come across something else. And you're going to be like, you know what? I remember so-and-so saying this so long ago. And now it's actually happening to me. So, for sure, you guys. Like, you know, just, just have the confidence to just be you. I know that takes a lot. But you know what? 
there is no one else like you in this entire world and that is something truly special and okay I'm done with my soapbox now so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know um, today while I am home because I have to wait uh, for a package to actually get here um, you know, I've been ordering Christmas presents early, which my family doesn't actually watch this YouTube channel, so I'm not worried about that. But, uh, shh, anyway, so, um, I'm going to get as many voiceovers done for my builds and this and the uh, tongue tied and the like. So, um, during the next few weeks while I'm helping him get readjusted and and whatnot. Um, you'll at least have a few things to watch. I'm not promising that they're going to be every day. Uh, you might get one once a week or maybe two a week. It just depends on how much work I get done because your girl is feeling a nap <laughs> already and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. I've only been up for half an hour, but okay. So I think we are actually going to start to talk about this build. So I sort of generalized a lot of rooms. There is the gymnasium, which you guys saw. Um, it says it's not the locker room. There are only actually two bathrooms on this lot, which one is here in the locker room. And then the other one, I believe, is on the third floor and the library. Yeah, it's on the third floor in the li library. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you could uh, what you could make this slot, but I was just so inspired. I don't know why. I also uh, put this. Well, actually, I know what I'm gonna do for it, so I'll tell you guys here in a second. But um, this is another build for my pets universe when it comes out. Like this is the. This is another build that I wanted to incorporate. I just want some realism in my game, guys. You know, because you got, like, gas stations, mini marts. Actually, you know what I guess? Trying to make a gas station might not be a bad idea. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to that thought. If one of you come out with something like that before me, I'm going to be so mad. No, I'm just kidding. No, if it, and honestly, if you would want to do one, please do, because... We don't have enough of those. Actually, I don't think we have any of those. No, I take that back. We might have one. We might have one. But anyway, um, no, so I just wanted to build a school. But so my thought process behind this was with the family that I've created to be like the main family in that LP, uh... I just wanted them to have like the full family effect and it's not, I don't know if I'm going to get the go to school mod, um, so that their children, uh, can actually go to school and like we can experience stuff like that. Cause I had it in my game before, before I actually got my new computer and switched it over. And from what I can remember, I really liked it. I tried in this build to incorporate everything that's supposed to be in it from memory. So I think I might have missed a few things. If I did, I will go back in and um, place those and then re-upload this to the gallery. Um, I'm actually not sure if I did upload this to the gallery or not yet, but I will do that today. Actually, I don't think I've uploaded any of my builds lately. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go check that. I think there's a couple that I've uploaded, but yeah. So, so here we are working in like the main entrance for the school. Uh, this is kind of like the lobby, like where your receptionist would be to kind of check you in or, you know, if your parents had to come in for a parent teacher conference, which you don't want that ever. It's awful. Your parents look at you like, what have you done, you heathen child? It's not not a good situation. <clears throat> Sorry, taking a sip of coffee. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of like the reception area. You know, we got all the safety signs and everything on in the appropriate places. So it kind of does look like a school. And I don't know. I just had a lot of fun building this. Like, 
like I I've built a school before back when I like first started playing The Sims 4. I've been playing The Sims 4 since it actually came out on Xbox. No. No, I take that back. We had Sims 1 for the computer too. But um I always like playing on the Xbox. I don't know why. But having The Sims 4 on the computer. Actually, I think I think I might have went over to the dark side. I think I might like PC games better. And here I was trying to get a computer to sit on this thing, which for whatever reason, I don't know if I had too many things on it already, but uh, I couldn't get it to happen. So using those tall tables from Dine Out actually worked pretty freaking well. And I thought it actually gave it a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit more personality to a plain white desk. Because as you can see, it's very clean. It's very... I don't know. I tried to use a lot of light colors. I felt like a light color palette for a school would be beneficial. And for now, I'm not sure if I'm going to make an elementary school. I thought about it and I'm actually really considering doing it. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. And don't mind this kitchen because it's like the worst. Like th that room is the worst furnished one. And it was just so small because I wanted the cafeteria to be a decent size. And then we obviously have, you know, the offices and stuff that you have to go through. So they have to be somewhat of a decent size. So I'm like, you know what? It's not like the kitchen is ever going to be really used. Um, or at least I don't think so. No, I think that they can actually cook on it themselves, but you can't hire someone to work on it. I don't know. It's a, it's a strange thing. When I re-download the mod and um, get ready to do my Pets LP and kind of take you guys through the little journey that that family has had up until the point of getting the dog, um, or dog, cat, I don't know. You know what? Actually, I don't know what kind of pet they're going to have. I want to say a dog, but I'm not 110% sure, but I am super stoked for cats and dogs like you have no idea and my like I play um uh, I play my own family or whatever like it not my own family but I play like my I don't know sim self or whatever in uh in a different thing on my own free time and I'm telling you what <laughs> I am going to have nothing but cats in my house it's going to be phenomenal I am so excited Especially because I, I want to recreate like all my animals. Like, um, I don't know if I got, if I ever told you guys, but, uh, last year my family dog, her name was Jasmine actually passed away because she was 15 years old. So, you know, she kind of died of old age and I saw that her breed was in there when, uh, all the simmers have been, uh, doing the uploads of create a pet, which I am super jealous <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I saw her breed in there and, and I just want to make her again. So she's going to be my puppers and my own first one, or I might put her in, in the pets LP for the family because she was such a good dog. You know, animals will break your heart. I'm telling you. So, okay. So back to this build. So my theory was with the seals, like it kind of marked what classroom it was and I know it seems a little silly. Like there's a couple things in here that I try to do to, um, uh, like break off the rooms and, and make it, I don't know, make them their own, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I thought that was kind of like a cool idea. Can't remember if I find, I can't, what, what's, what seal was that? Cause I don't. I don't recognize that one. Um, there are curtains in some of the rooms. Some of the rooms do not have curtains. And my reasoning for that was I thought that, um, I don't know, maybe the windows because the way they're tinted would be like those. Um, I can't remember what they are, but I had them in my high school. Like if the sun was directly beating down on them, they get darker from the outside. And so that was kind of like my theory, which, you know, I came up with on the spot right now. So, 
Because <laughs> I was going to say, well, then why did I put curtains up at all? But anyway, so that was kind of that. Like I said, that uh, kitchen there is just extremely bland. But I think I included everything that they need to actually um, have lunch. Because there's certain, like, it's just like uh, go to work with the go to school mod. You know, you have certain tasks that you have to complete each day to have a successful day at school, which I really like. I really do. It makes me want university stuff for The Sims 4. Because let's be honest, like, The Sims 3 University was probably one of my favorite packs ever. Right beside um, Generations and Seasons. And that's another one I want for The Sims. But I know it's going to take them some time. You know, I know it's going to take some time because how long they did the lighting engine and I can't remember. I, I thought Sim Guru Graham gave like an estimated timeline or maybe he didn't. I feel like he did, but I could be wrong. So don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, so we're in here in the secretary's office <clears throat> and the sin that I picture working this, I feel like she would be so prim and proper, or even he, even he, I don't quite have a sim in mind, but I think I'm going to make him because I made the principal. <laughs> um, he actually lives at this lot for right now because I needed a sim in there so I could take screenshots you guys because really, um, but he lives there and when I get the get to school mod figured out, I will definitely figure out what to do with him. And I'm telling you what, my Sims file is already starting to fill up with houses that I've created. And I think after this one, I'm going to attempt to make an apartment complex and have different Sims live in different spots. It's probably not going to be a very big one. I might just make a duplex or maybe a triplex, which if you guys don't know, those are um, townhouses to some people, but it's basically like one giant house split right down the middle and each side of the house has the exact same thing on the exact same, well, not the exact same side. They're like mirror images of each other, but I actually used to live in one uh, me, my mom and my brothers actually lived in one for quite a while. And we had some decent neighbors. Like we lucked out so much, uh, in terms of neighbors and yeah, it was, it was really nice. So it was really nice. So I don't know why I'm repeating myself so much. I think it's just cause I'm still tired. Uh, so this is the principal's office that I designed with my um, sim in mind to do this. I just felt like he was a very, you know, refined man. And here I am jumping around with different things. I'm sorry I do that, you guys. I really am. You know, because sometimes you just pass some stuff and you just don't see it. And then you see it and you're like, no, this has to go in right now. Um, but yeah, I really like the way the office turned out. I know it's like a very dull monochromatic kind of color palette but I like the pops of gold I tried to do as many as I possibly could uh and they're very faint like the globe has that the lamp on his table has that and the chairs that is an ugly light I don't know why I put that in there I hope I changed that but I probably didn't so here we are in the gymnasium I did go through, I think off camera, cause I had to, you know, record this in parts because this lot is huge. I mean, disgustingly huge. I built it in Newcrest in, um, I think the bottom left corner, uh, which is where I'm going to put like another shopping mall. And, uh, is that my coffee going off? It is my coffee going off. Um, anyway. But uh, I'm going to kind of make like a little, not like a city district, but more like a downtown district. So, yeah, I thought putting a high school down here would be really cool. The elementary school will probably go in the smaller lot. I might do a park and a coffee shop, maybe a store. 
just something like you know just something something to fill it in I am really super excited to start this like um, I've been placing the families that I've been doing in the cash challenge in here too. And, uh, what I do when I do that is I, um, I place them in, I get them jobs <laughs> because the houses I build for them are probably way more expensive than what they would actually make or not make if they were unemployed. So, I get them jobs, you know, I kind of introduce them to different sims, but we always go back to our main family, so don't worry. We might actually play a day in the life of a few of them throughout the LP, just to kind of break it up, because um, there's going to be a little bit of monotony, not monotony, but there's going to be a little bit of repetitiveness with their daily lives for a little bit... Um, from what I have planned, because obviously, you know, family life is not always exciting. There's not always something going on. You know, there, there are a lot of days when you just sit at home with the entire family and just veg and do nothing. So I kind of want to, like I said, I want to make this a very real, very relatable LP. And I've been sharing screenshots of the family that I am slowly working with. Um, I will tell you a little bit about them, but I'm not going to give it away. Uh, the father is a doctor for right now, and when the Cats and Dogs LP comes out, we are going to, uh, you know, just kind of have him maybe float between the two. I haven't quite decided if it's going to be him or him or his wife that kind of takes on this this need to. Uh, to help animals and stuff like that. So I probably gave too much away, but oh well. And we are also going to be dealing with a couple other real life situations. So um, just a warning, uh, there is a possibility that there could be a death when the LP starts. I'm not going to say how, I'm not going to say who, but just so that you guys are aware, like I'm trying to make this very realistic because with the Sims game, you just have so much freedom. And I feel like, a, I don't want to say, I don't want to say like Simmers just replicate like the perfect lives for these Sims because obviously they don't. There is a lot of drama in LPs and I just want to kind of throw my hat in the ring to see if. I can do it, <laughs> you know? I want to feel like I can make, you know, an LP that just speaks to a lot of different people on a lot of different levels. And there are going to be some things that, you know, aren't so pleasant. And I don't want to skate around the fact that life is, is, it's hard. It's hard. Like once you actually get out on your own and you're an adult, it's hard. Don't let anyone tell you it's not. But if you keep working and keep pushing yourselves, you guys will be just fine. So that's kind of the backstory for me building this because I just want the full life effect because, you know, we're simulating life. So School is a part of just about everybody's life. And I know that, you know, school isn't everybody's cup of tea, but. And I think our, uh, our little girl that we have so far is going to kind of want to rebel against this. Just when you guys meet her, you will understand. <laughs> uh, but so here we are in the second floor. We are making the art studio. And I like this room. I put down some, um, I think that's that rubber flooring, I think, or that, um, puzzle piece looking flooring. I can't remember. Um, I really liked that room. I thought it was fun and, you know, who wouldn't want to go to art class if it looked like that? There's literally a door that you can spray paint. Like, it's awesome. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put a mural out the front. You know what? I'm going to do that before I 
before I upload this. Actually, I'm going to make myself a note right now. Hold on. Do I have? I do have paper. That is a surprise. Now a pen. Pen? No? No pens? None at all? Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, and it's a Sharpie. Okay. So mural for school. Okay. So I will add that to the front just cause you know, like that would be really cool. Cause I want kids to be able to voice their opinions because you guys voicing your opinions and making yourself known is probably the most important thing you will ever do in your life. Well, I mean, besides live off, obviously, but you know what? Just, if you feel strongly about something, you know what? You have every right to feel that way and have those kind of thoughts and don't let anyone make you feel bad for, for other people. So, you know, you just, you do you. And even if it's just painting a mural or just retweeting, I mean, obviously there are other things you can do. You know, you can donate to certain charities that you feel are doing a phenomenal job in making, um, in making a community or a problem, a, just anything. If you feel like they're making a difference in the world, you know, help them volunteer, do whatever you can. And I'm still on another soapbox. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. So, but you know, just enjoy your youth. And if you can make a difference, please, please make a difference. We all appreciate it because right now it's a little bit scary, just a little bit. So, okay. I'm done with my soapbox. <laughs> I promise this time I'm done. Okay. So here we are. Um, I just made two generic classrooms. The TVs on the wall are obviously like the, um, I guess you guys in school now have actual TVs that you, you know, draw stuff on or they're projectors or something. I can't remember what they are, but you know, I'm old school. I grew up with chalkboards and if we were, well, my school was actually fortunate enough, um, to actually have the whiteboards that you could white with the expo markers on. So the fact that you guys have TVs and they give you laptops at school, I am incredibly jealous. So, but um, I just made two generic classrooms. I think this one is more is a little bit more dressed up than the other one. Um, my reasoning for that was uh, I thought there was a teacher that, you know, was maybe was already in their tenure. And, uh, you know, they've had that classroom for a while. So, you know, they dressed it up a little bit. And sorry, my mouth is getting dry. Um. I don't know if you guys noticed that cup, but I was going to put the science lab down here, but then I remembered that, or I remembered from the last time that I had the get to school mod installed. I don't know if it's still a thing. Like I said, I haven't checked it out, but I remember that you had to have, um, a telescope. So I was kind of like, well, crap, I wasn't planning on doing a telescope. So we switched the music room down to, uh, down to the other room and the, I can't remember. No, they're from get to work. They're the four like little squares put together, which you guys will see here in a little bit. I didn't put them all over the room, but in my mind that was kind of like a soundproofing thing because obviously there's other classrooms and other kids trying to learn. So, um, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, there's soundproofing in the room and I actually, that is the first time I have used those rugs from this toddler stuff pack, at least not, I might've used them before, but I think this is the only time that I've actually used them because they wouldn't fit anywhere else. So as soon as I figured out they were big enough for the room, I was like, yep, this is it. This is what we're doing. 
Uh, we're just adding a few. Yep, see, I'm going to jump back and forth. Like I told you, I moved the science room and had to fix the uh, exterior of the building to kind of match and, and look a little bit better. So there's your soundproofing. It's only on one wall, but hey, it's the thought that counts, right? Um, my whole uh, idea for that little wall over there was maybe we're like, the kids would post posters about like fundraisers or joining clubs or anything like that. So I did go in and use the by debug mode objects a lot, especially for the science room and uh, a few other things I grabbed from there. I just thought that they, uh, they really needed to be in there, especially for the science room. I'm actually, my favorite room in this entire build is the science room. And as you guys can see down there, I use the toddler stuff pack awning, which I thought was just super cool. And there's a gardening section out the back. Uh, because I remember that you have to do that. I also left the left side or the back left side of the build blank because I can't, like I said, I can't remember everything that's supposed to be in there. Like I know with the gym, I just kind of squashed the <laughs> equipment in there. But in my mind, like uh, that little hallway where they would have to go to uh, use the the, uh, what's it called? Um, locker room. I feel like under the stairs would be like an adequate storage space for all that stuff. So that's my reasoning. I know it's not logical, but we're sticking to it. So, and this is the other bathroom. See, I thought it was on the third floor. I think you get through it. I think you get to it through the library. So, uh, yeah, we're just placing some things around, you know, adding some lotions, you know, for when the girls come in to use restrooms and sanitizers and paper towels. And we get a little tiny trash can in there, which I feel like that's in every school bathroom. I mean, they use bigger bins, but I feel like that's just standardly the, the way the, uh, bathrooms work in the, in school. I still can't believe I've been out of school for 10 years. That just blows my mind. Cause I don't feel like I have been. I feel like some days it was just like last year or some, it's crazy. It's crazy. Time goes so quickly. You guys, it really does. I had a meltdown when I turned 20. I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so old. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. So we're just kind of finishing up the library here, putting in some tables. I was originally going to put computers in here because usually, or at least my library, uh, where I went to school had one or had, uh, like a little section, but it ends up being the, uh, next room over from the bathroom. That's the computer lab. And it's pretty sparse just because I feel like the kids aren't actually going in there to mess around or really learn. Well, no, they're learning stuff, but, um. I don't feel like they're in there messing around and you know, they're in there to get their research done and then leave. So and I did use the library cards. You guys should be so proud of me. I knew that I wanted to use them. So I was subconsciously like kind of keeping an eye out when I was going through the buy catalog, could not find them, could not find them. And finally when I needed them the most, I uh, actually got them, so I was super excited. Library colors are still the same because I felt like it would just be one continuous room. I actually probably should have made the the hallway the same color, but that's okay. So here go in the the tables, computers. We do put televisions in just because, like, I feel the librarian that would be watching over this would want to have the news on or you know, an educational show because that's what they played at my school. So, you know, I never said it was super cool. You guys never said it was super cool. And I'm going to jump back and forth between the, um, uh, between the two. And like I said, I found that sign. So I felt like, you know, we needed a sign out the front 
to let them know that it was time to go to school. Well, not time to go to school, but let them know where their school was. So I can't remember what symbol I actually use. Was it that one? Nah. I felt that was close enough to the computer. So we're starting to add more trophies and stuff. I don't know if you guys saw, well, you probably saw me make a little trophy, uh, trophy case outside the, the cafeteria in the uh, principal's office, you know, so he has something nice to look forward to. And I believe, yep, there go the library cards. Because, you know, you need books at the, at the computers, too. I know you guys don't go through the catalogs and, uh, and do your research that way. You Google all, Google a lot, but in my day you had to, you had to go through some files and I can't remember what they're called, like Rolodex or something like that. You had to pull them out and find your books and it was, it was insane. We're just adding some more lights around the area, just keeping it really pretty subtle. Like I don't want a whole lot of clutter. I feel like the library should be the least cluttered classroom. Well, not classroom, but least cluttered room in, in the place. And I really like that book stand from uh, Vampire Stuff Pack. It just, it felt, it felt like it felt, ugh, it fit the aesthetic of that, uh, of that place. And there was a science lab. I don't know if I showed you guys enough of that, but you'll see it all in the screenshots um, when we get to them here in just a few minutes. The, yeah, the science lab is so cool. It is so cool. There's little aliens and jars, all kinds of stuff. And I realized that, is that the, no, I don't think, no, I think the, the professors, or not the professor, the, uh, the uh, principal is the only one that's got the globe in his hand or in his hand in his office. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry. Hold on one second. Sorry. I had to adjust my seat cause it just wasn't comfortable anyway. Um, and I'm obviously going to lock that door because I don't want them going in there, you know, just making them and gusties in the middle of, in the middle of class. Cause I feel like that's a little irresponsible. So, I think this is going to be the last room that we actually furnish and this is the teacher's lounge and I liked the white and blue um, again with the blue <laughs> I know you guys I'm obsessed with it I'm sorry I'm gonna try to start using a different color in my builds but I wanted to make them a really sweet teacher lounge because you know teachers are so underappreciated they really truly are like they teach your kids, you know what I mean? They teach your kids things that you don't want to teach your kids. Because if I had kids, I don't want to sit there and, and teach them about the Civil War or about, like, I just, I don't feel like I would adequately explain a lot of history that happened for them. And I feel like the teachers that specialize in it, you know, they deserve, they deserve quite a bit. Because let me tell you what. My niece is five years old. My um, brother that just got married, his wife had a child from a previous uh, relationship. And I love that little girl to death, but she is, she is something else. I love her to death, but she is something else. She is spitting on kids. Like it's, it's bad. So here we are in the screenshots. This is the very front. I did go ahead and change the fountains and stuff. Like I said, I don't like doing landscaping as much. Um, there's our little garden area, a little picnic. We have a nice little fountain with some lights to light up the back. There's the front again, just a closer shot. And I know the telescope looks a little weird up there, but you know. And here is the main lobby, the reception area, trophy case. We do have security cameras on some of the floors just because, you know, you got to keep the kids safe. Um, and I hung those because I felt like that would be, I don't know, their school emblem or whatever. And here's a few shots of the cafeteria. Some students left their books behind. Uh, this is the receptionary office for the uh, principal. 
just real simple, real clean. Here is the principal's office. And I made it based, mostly based on what I felt like he would like. So, and there's the gymnasium. I put the curtains in there because I felt like, you know, they'd be there and some jerseys and a couple treadmills, punching bag. Here is the locker room. Real muted. Those two are, those two doors are the bathrooms and then there's two showers, obviously, you guys saw in the build. So there's another angle with the chalkboard. You know, the coach is trying to amp up the team. And this is the locker area on the second floor. And another shot, I believe we're going into the art room next. No, music room. I'm sorry. I really like this space. I feel like it's fun. I like this space and the music space in the science lab just because there's so much fun. And this is one of the classrooms where... You know, students learn, obviously. Like I said, this one's a bit more bare bones than the others. So this is the other one. You know, she's actually got some stuff out. She's a little comfortable. Looking nice. And here is the art room. It is cluttered to heck and back. But I love it. It looks like every art room I have ever been in in my life. Uh, here's a science lab with all the little aliens and the rocks. It's really cool. It's fun. I had a lot of fun with this build. And here's the teacher lounge. And I think we're going to go show the, the, yep, the front of the school with the emblem on the front and the telescope, the library. And then we're going to go into the bathroom and the computer lab. So, this is where I'm going to leave you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this build because I seriously enjoyed making it for you guys. It was awesome. I had so much fun. Uh, leave me some suggestions on what kind of builds you want to see in the future. And, you know, just let me know what you think about this one. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to leave me feedback, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.